Are we officially oh, we are out? Now. We're in the <laughs> public Look out. at that. We're oh, my now. God. <laughs> They Here turned we are, over everybody the talking at once. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, well, people that's... who haven't entered yet. <laughs> I know this is called Open Chat. We're going to talk about whatever the heck we want to, and you welcome, can't stop us. Yeah, welcome well. <laughs> to the very first episode of Serial Boxers After Dark. This is basically a mashup program of all of our network shows where any host that wants to be here is just going to jump in here. And we're going to talk about whatever comes up. There is nothing off limits and there is nothing on the plan. So this could be a complete train wreck, uh, but you'll be <laughs> here to watch that. it, which is where everybody well, wants to be for a train wreck. Well, I'm here. So obviously it's going to go off the rails eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can think of is my kids like show choo choo train. Chugga, chugga, <laughs> choo, choo. <laughs> So has everybody had a wonderful weekend? The weather is finally starting to it's back cool. off of that heat a little bit and <sighs> I've mellow been working. out. I've been I, love, I love that it's cooling off and I love that I can be outside because, I mean, you can look at, I, mean, I think all of the ladies on board here, you can look at our skin tone and know that <laughs> we do not see the light of day very often at all. Our uh, umbrellas are friends. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's because I'm mostly working half the time. And it's like, anytime that I have a day off, it's like, I really don't want to go outside. <laughs> All I want to do is nap. And, and Geek Gumpy can, can, and can vouch for that. I'm like, if there's a free moment in the day, I'm going to take a nap. I agree if with that. If there was a world championship for naps, DL I would, would have a gold medal. I would. Plus Napping going is outside like, It is. It is. I'm a napper too. Uh, but plus going outside is like swimming in soup now. So... Ew. You Swim in your own soup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not much of a, a napper. That's I don't fun. like the feeling of losing part of my day. I always feel like there's something else I need to be doing. That's so not losing. if I lay down, I'm staring at the ceiling thinking about that other thing I need to be doing. <laughs> that is yeah, totally you. not losing. That's actually adding to your day and it's allowing you to wake up refreshed. And during the time that you're napping, your brain is still functioning. There are a lot of times that I wake up on the other side of a nap and I am very energized and ready to go to work and ready to do not, not work, but yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. Work. Work. <laughs> See, no. I, I, I long for the day where I get to say goodbye to Starbucks and retire. <laughs> okay, so how old do you have to be if you're if you're a uh, working at Starbucks? How old do you have to be to actually retire from that company? Uh, you know what? I've been with the company for sorry about that. Um, no, you're about to, I've been with the company for about uh, for twelve years. So it'll be thirteen years next week. Oh and, wow! Yeah, that's uh, substantial for for something like <laughs> Starbucks. I mean, honestly. That, that's a lot of commitment. But honestly, I've heard that Starbucks is a great company to work for. They offer yeah. benefits to their part-time employees. Yeah, we're yeah. really not on any kind of topic, are we? Well, no, I was. I, I'm sitting here like trying to fight the evil questions. Like, okay, we know where she works, so we can't like. To, but I wanted worst Karen story. What's the craziest dream? What's the? <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh God! Look, yeah, let's do that. Let's Karen. do that. Karen stories. Give us your best Karen worst, story, Willow. Worst so, Karen story. My my favorite is when people come in and they're like, "Can I get a cappuccino with no foam?" Twitch. The Twitch. description. The, the, the cap cappuccinos no. are similar to a latte, but it has more foam than uh, than milk. Uh, and. It, Every time, every time, it's like my eye just kind of twitches a little. <laughs> that that's the thing about having something like a Starbucks, which you know, it's it's kind of bringing a sophisticated drink to the masses, to the 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 soil <laughs> masses, and so you're bringing something that requires a certain amount of knowledge and a certain amount of of finesse to put it together, and yeah. then you're handing it to some toothless idiot that ordered it because he thought it sounded cool. <laughs> and, but he has no idea what it means. That's, it's what, like, that's what I'm convinced about the uh, yeah, caramel macchiatos. People just like say macchiato and they have no idea what's actually I don't know what it is. It. it sounds like one of the caramel three musketeers or something. <laughs> <laughs> so Daniel, no one has caramel. Macchiato. <laughs> 
Someone milked a camel? What? <laughs> okay, so I have to ask you because this is one of those things with Starbucks. I am a Starbucks junkie, but I'm also a coffee. Mm. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. I see you. Stop. Um, I love coffee. I'm I'm my coffee junkie and I have so many different ways to prepare coffee. And it depends on what I'm drinking, depending on what I the preparation process. I mean, sometimes it's pressed, sometimes it's percolated, sometimes it's uh I don't have the pour over system yet. I'm still waiting on that. But I mean, it is a it, it's almost an art form, and you have people who <laughs> I'm listening. Hello, I'm just what are you doing? <laughs> it's blurry. You're very unfocused right now. Yes. <laughs> You're like, find me. I'm, yes. Deal's like, I haven't drank that much wine. <laughs> I'm I'm unfocused, sure? but I'm focusing. <laughs> Please keep going. Your focus needs more focus. <laughs> uh, your camera it is has an cataracts. art form. <laughs> Basically, it's an art form, and I'm not comparing. Um, Starbucks to McDonald's, although McDonald's does <laughs> sell coffee, it is now a fast food. Everybody goes there. I, I, I love to drink it. I do not. Now I'm also not a people person, so I don't like going to the shops themselves. Um, it's like, I will run in and I'm like, please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Gotta go now. Bye. I'm that person. I don't like being in coffee shops. It's like, oh. the, there's only one that I know of here in Memphis that I will visit. And that's voodoo. Mm -hmm. We've gone to Voodoo, haven't we? Lauren? Yeah. yeah, we went to Lauren. Yeah, we, we went to Lauren. To Lauren. <laughs> we went to Lauren. <laughs> Lauren's Voodoo is the best. I know. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Like, because I drink the majority of my coffee at work, when I get home, it's like, oh, I'm not really in the mood for coffee, but then I get really bad headaches. I swear <laughs> to God, if I quit my job, I'm going to have to go into rehab. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a whole thing. Caffeine headaches. If I don't get enough caffeine during the course of the day, I'm useless. Okay, so outside of Starbucks, what is your other, what is your next favorite type of coffee? Um, pretty much the local uh, coffee shops I go to. Um, but yeah, I will make my own coffee at home. Like I'll, yeah, I'll get like the instant espresso and just mix it with hot chocolate. <laughs> okay. Lauren, what's your go-to coffee? Oh gosh. Um, so I, I buy the pumpkin spice uh, Starbucks blend. I make that. I know. <laughs> I know. I love pumpkin spice. Okay. You would um, think that I do. I, right? You look like it. Um, <laughs> You're saying pumpkin. she's basic? That's I like mean, a, come on. No, I'm <laughs> saying she's got the pumpkin stripe right there. Um, but yeah, I'll get the Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee. I will have vanilla creamer inside of that drizzled with caramel on top of that and whipped cream on top. Hmm. So well, you like creamer, not stopped. coffee. <laughs> uh, no, I like, I like coffee in my creamer. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I actually am a junkie for iron bean. And uh, this is the only coffee that geek gumshoe will drink is iron bean coffee. We drink unicorn and fierce. And those okay. are the two. Those are fabulous. Are, are they dark roast coffees? Yes. Okay. I only drink dark roast. <laughs> yeah, I went through pretty much my entire life with not <laughs> really starting to drink coffee. Now, my dad, my dad was career Navy and he would go out and cut the grass in 100 degrees in the summertime in New Orleans and come in and drink a cup of straight black coffee. Oh my uh, I mean, that was how hardcore yeah. coffee drinker he was. And I just never developed uh, a passion for it. And then uh, I started going camping with uh, my friend Jeremiah, who was Mr. on Fish. the Ice Cream Queen's uh, uh, absinthe episode. And <gasps> he started bringing the Iron Bean coffee with him. And he would make coffee in the mornings when we would get up. And, and he just got me hooked on it. And there's just there's something about the the way iron bean makes their stuff that just really makes me appreciate their coffee and you know i try other stuff and i'm like oh this, this is okay mm -hmm. it's kind of bland but i really do like the the iron bean i have a very important question where's my absinthe oh it's in the kitchen oh, okay all right <laughs> i haven't seen it looks like a moonshine jar i mean it's a mason jar full of homemade absinthe oh wow yeah schmancer right there I'm still Francis waiting on my Glenn, cookies. Seriously, what are you doing up so late? 
Or are you just waking up right now? Have you set him a bedtime? Yes, that... <laughs> he, he's from England, so it's party time. Oh, oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> well, okay. you know what? what time is it in England right now? He, he just, just said, said 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh, well. That's crazy. Somebody needs some ambience. He must <laughs> really, really like you, Willow. He's had a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know he's in the process of uh, of writing. Oh, can't sleep. Okay, oh, I can't oh. sleep. I'm so sorry. It well, maybe we'll help him lull him so, eh, him to sleep. So maybe we'll bore him <laughs> okay. until he falls asleep. Everyone, just we will start talking like this for the rest of the show. <laughs> should I tap on? Wait. I feel like we should be talking about sweaty balls. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I lost your sweaty balls to, to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> All of the younger generation watching this are going to be like, what? What is he talking <laughs> about? What's a sweaty ball? What? No, they're going to be laughing because you said balls. <laughs> no, hopefully they'll laugh. Hopefully they're not sitting there just staring at it going, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so we're talking... Cryptic and Johnny's cryptic. skipping out on his visit with his friends. <laughs> I know, Johnny. Why are you? Well, he's, actually, he's got his he's cell phone under the table talking to us <laughs> while, while his friends are sitting there at the table with him. His wife can entertain while he goes off. And <laughs> That's right. Dinner party crossover episode. Dinner party crossover episode. We know where you really want to be. <laughs> I, I, I'm just waiting for him to pop in. Like you'll see, you'll see like a rack of clothes behind him where he's hiding in the closet and, and popping in. No, he'll actually he'll be in the bathroom. Five bucks, he'll be in the bathroom. I'm taking a quick break and wanted to pop in and see how things are going. <laughs> so as you guys can see, uh, this is a live oh. show. We are getting uh, comments oh. that come in. Uh, you, DL can pass for Carolyn Jones. Absolutely. I love I Carolyn Jones. I love. Oh. So you know drop what? your comments in there. We promise we'll try to answer it unless it's <laughs> profane or just. I will know. answer those too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to answer them offline. Yeah. <laughs> Comment section. That's how we do. So, so uh, pumpkin spice. <laughs> pumpkin spice. <laughs> Are I we think... seven minutes in? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 15. So actually I'm thinking that should be my, my spice girl name. I want to be a spice no. girl. <laughs> well, no. Why? I'm pumpkin spice. <laughs> We're going to have to battle over the pumpkin spice. Uh, let me think. So here's okay. a que here's a question for our audience mem members tonight. If you were a spice girl, what would your spice girl name be? Pumpkin oh. spice. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> It's going to be pumpkin spice one and pumpkin spice two. <laughs> okay. So which one's the goth version and who's wearing Uggs? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, I one don't of you can be basic spice. I don't either. Uh, Put spikes <laughs> on those Uggs and you Wait guys minute, can. I don't think any of us qualify for basic spice, do we? Mm, no, but if you're no, talking pumpkin spice, no. you got to give that some. Boots with some the fur. <laughs> well, the comments are rolling in. Everybody's participating <laughs> Welcome to this disaster. All right, so Carolyn was the <gasps> most beautiful girl who ever lived. I still if wow. you're comparing me wow. to Carolyn, oh gosh. So that you, would you make me the number one. my best friend. <laughs> I thought you were going to take it differently. It's like, you mean there's nine <laughs> other chicks that are hotter than me? Come on. <laughs> no, oh. no, I, no. No, no, no. I, I, okay, so the if, I, I was going to bring this up eventually anyway, but me and DL are obsessed with Elvira. I have that, <laughs> have that book. I have that so, book. Um, so, yeah, she would she would count as the number one spot. So I don't know if DL I, has the... I have that. I have that. If it has Elvira's picture on it, I probably <laughs> have it. And uh, Willow... <gasps> that I don't that have. That she does not have. She's no. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Why don't I have that? Uh oh. <laughs> Mission mode. Dun, dun, you, you, dun, have, dun, dun. you have, you have her Where signature get that? tattooed My on your body. My audio is going out. So that I know. Going out. I, I do. I do have her signature tattooed on me. And I may, she actually commented during that event that uh, she asked me if she needed to get a restraining order against me. And I'm like, mm, probably. <laughs> She is really a lovely woman, though, and um, 
I think all three of us are, are, or all four of us, I'm counting you too, but as, as for <laughs> ladies, um, I think all three of us are uh, very highly influenced by Elvira. Yes. Yes. Lauren, didn't yeah. you just put out a TikTok about that? Yes. I did. Yeah. There's a new trend going around to where it's like, a mama said that it was okay. And uh, like people making fun of things that you do and then be like, well, this is my influence and they did it. So I had the whole like, oh God, you're wearing too much makeup. You're showing too much skin. You need to cover up. Goth girls aren't cool. And I was just like, well, <laughs> mama <laughs> said it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Goth girls are uncool. Meanwhile, they're pretty much the ruling faction on TikTok. So you are not kidding. <laughs> you are not and kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. When, when every year around this time, all the pictures of the goth babes show up, and it's like, I love this woman. I love this woman. It's like you know, Morticia Adams, Elvira, you know, Lily Munster. <laughs> My favorite though is when when the the girls that are just super basic all year round start comparing themselves to these women and i'm like oh. yeah darling i'm thinking you might not really know yourself as well as you think you do <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't know these women as well as you think you do exactly <laughs> yeah um i i've taken uh place uh, I, i've done a few photo shoots with some uh boudoir ladies mm -hmm. who wanted to do witchy photo shoots oh. and it was like one or two actually kind of spooky witchy chicks in there. And I was like, hey, I recognize. We recognize. Cool. And then there was a whole bunch of girls who were just like, I'm here for Halloween photos. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's Go good, in. baby. Thanks, hi. Oh, no. They got their store bought Go. costume and their, yep. <laughs> you know, their, their thin little nylon pointy hat. Okay. Yep. Can, can I tell you about, and three of us were there. So, Every year, just about every year, we get to go into um, Haunted Web of Horrors here in Memphis and do a photo shoot. And Lauren and I actually did a photo shoot one year that the, the images have been shared, but they have been shared kind of uh, mildly. <laughs> Okay. Um, we were kind of. Um, we I had to turn we up the air conditioning that day in the in the haunted web. It got a little little steamy up in the haunted webs. <laughs> yeah. So there, there are actually pictures of Lauren and I kind of wallowing on each other in black lingerie somewhere, somewhere there along the goes. line. And now the, the best it. thing. So, yeah. So go ahead and search that. See if you can find it. But um, <laughs> the best thing about it was walking through the, uh, the, uh, the haunted web like this it i'm sorry i'm drawing a blank um walking through haunted web and these clothes and having everybody just stop and stare there's like what, what is that a new attraction did we miss something why are there half, <laughs> half naked ladies here what's going on i know that well, was I'll, I'll tell you something uh, on a similar but but going down a different path if you've never been in a haunted attraction when it's not like in operation when, when there's not actors everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we would go into this thing and we would find rooms and we would do a few pictures. And then, you know, there, there was a lot of times two or three uh, girls that were with us doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And we would have to move from space to space. And sometimes we have to move a pretty good ways. So I'd be in there like gathering up all of my camera gear <laughs> and, uh, you know, going through this, this haunted house, going from room to room by myself. And it's a weird feeling. It's kind of like being in a school when there's nobody else there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and you're walking around going, Hey, I've seen this movie. I know how this goes. <laughs> but it is a weird experience being in something like that by yourself and wandering through, you know, something that's been made to deliberately be scary yeah. and be creepy and gross. And, and you find yourself alone wandering through that. It's, it's very <laughs> surreal. If we ever do that again, I have a new cosplay I really want to do. Really? What? Yes, what? I'm going to be featuring it at my next uh, horror con next week. Uh, I'm doing Tiff from Bride of Chucky. Oh, nice. cool. oh, I love it. I love it so much. I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we're getting a bunch of comments. Let's let's stream through some oh, of these yes, comments. Sorry. Right here. All right. Oh, so sorry. going back to the pumpkin spice thing or uh, the spice, spice girl girls. Thing, so. Uh, oh, uh, Scarlet Scary with Beth. Scary Beth. Uh, 
We gave her that name when she was this tall. So <laughs> scary, scary best spice. Okay, that uh, makes sense. Scary best spice. So Chris is on my pa uh, on my wavelength of cin cinnamon whiskey, but I, I was going <laughs> for more spice. cinnamon. Are, are we even. avoiding? Are we avoiding trademark names on that one, or are we just Fireball cinnamon whiskey spice? Mike with Old Spice. <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad's favorite. Uh, we got, got some several hearts. emojis coming. Um, wow, somebody oh. uh, like cashed Chris in. Really all where are you, Chris? <laughs> Someone Chris, you wants jump the, in the and Bavarian yes. kind of chocolate cereal. Oh my goodness! Oh, we're gonna loop <laughs> back around to the uh, to the vampires in just a minute because <laughs> my favorite show just <laughs> started back up. Right. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't oh. talk about that. I can't say that. Oh. <laughs> what? Did you? I sent a TikTok to you. Did you see that? And I think it's in German that bleh means oh, yeah, the F word. Means the F word. No. It's like, so it's every a Romanian <laughs> F word or something. So every time Dracula goes, bleh. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that so much more often. We have a toddler version of it in my house. <laughs> oh, you do? What's the On toddler accident. Version? Yeah. Well, um, Okay, so whenever I was younger and someone was being like silly or they spaced out, we would just kind of be like, hello, ding dong, like ringing the doorbell, anybody home? Um, and so Lily, my, my littlest one, she had spaced out, she was doing something silly and I was like, hey, stop being such a ding dong. I forgot that that's what they called um, the boys at, the, at her daycare was ding dongs. And so she turned to me and she went, mommy, I am not a pig. <laughs> and so now we have a way of cursing people out in toddler. We You're just ding call dong. them ding dongs. <sighs> okay. All right. That's so hilarious. I have a friend that has a son that is absolutely one of the most hilarious people. She used to come into work every day and tell these wonderful stories about her her only child. And she tried to teach him, or basically, he thought that boobs were elbows. Oh, so elbow. Yeah. So he referred, they referred to boobs as elbows. And she said the first time that he got an iPhone or an iPad, she took the iPad away from him because he got in trouble. And he, she found that he was looking for butts, B-U-T-S and elbows. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Butts and elbows. Was Wasn't he sorely disappointed when he found out about that? <laughs> These are the ugliest boobs I've ever seen. <laughs> Butts, elbows, and ding dongs. Now we know. <laughs> we're we're going to be banned. We're showing them on the on the, the show. I know. Here's so, my elbow. Speaking of, where's that meme? Parts of people's parts. Um, Butts and elbows. <laughs> there, there was there was a restaurant in my city for the longest time back in like the eighties and yeah, in the early nineties called Chi Chi's. Well, it wasn't until later on Chi that I realized that Chi Chi's was the name. It was the word for women's boobs. Yeah, I'm learning that now. That's <laughs> really that's I, that's, yeah, I always, but I always loved Chi Chi's. <laughs> it's a when I worked finish. at Cracker Barrel, I like Chi -Chi's. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, when I worked at Cracker Barrel in my youth, all of the guys in the back called me Chi Chi's Grandes, and it took me a very long time <laughs> to figure out why. <laughs> Uh, old nicknames. Now you know. But that was always like my just... favorite restaurant as a kid. It's like I, I to this day I always refer to Chi Chi's as being my favorite restaurant, and people are like, you know, Chi Chi's means boots, right? I yeah, I for like sure those you were too. About to say that <laughs> means like hoot nannies or something like that, or vajayjays, or you know, I don't Look, know. Look, it, it's <laughs> it's almost impossible to create anything that becomes a national franchise. And not run into some kind of a lost in translation situation. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, Texas, there's there's got to be some absolutely hilarious stuff out there. With and that. Texas, there's a pho restaurant called Fucking <laughs> Pho. Oh my god! And then King, like Burger King. That is the name of the restaurant. It is technically appropriate. Yep. That is hilarious. You know, oh in my all god! All of these years, I just thought these were called titties. <laughs> We say pillows in my family. <laughs> Come here, honey. Just lay on mommy's pillows. Gotta sleep. 
<laughs> yeah, I, and, okay. I, I, I'm sorry, Dale, I think I did that I, drinking I accent. I always envision like the the southern uh, southern states having like nice words for things, not just like no, <laughs> no, 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 darling. no, no, no darling. we just say it in a nice way. <gasps> no, Bless we don't. <laughs> uh, well, they, they do have nicer words when you're not like us. There's stuff like, honey, don't show your dirty pillows. Like, there's. <laughs> yeah. Baby, you don't need to be talking about your VJJ on TV. <laughs> Nobody needs to hear about that. Yeah, I don't care if you vajazzled it. You keep that in private. Vajazzle, is that basically bedazzling your VJJ? Yes. <laughs> and this is what a train wreck looks like. <laughs> train wreck this is great we got laughing we got a laughing emoji uh, somebody's yeah. amused yeah we're getting a lot of comments i mean oh. everybody wants okay. to roll it yeah, let's yeah, let's, i yeah, love let's... this what the fuck is a dirty pillow <laughs> you know what a dirty pillow is we live in the south they're sweating oh. it's dirty i know if you've had like sweat lines underneath your pillow or your pillows you know what dirty pillows are <laughs> your pillows okay. your boobs your pillows I was on the porcelain. <laughs> I was on the porcelain cauldron, battling my inner demons. When y'all, I Look, hope you were victorious. That is more information. Eli, than me. stay away from the Taco Bell. <laughs> Here is the thing with me. Okay, every time I go to the bathroom, my husband calls. I swear to God, I can. Yeah, I'll be at work. That's I will be at work and uh, on my uh, on my uh, thirty minute break, and my husband will call me. And I was just like, seriously, you picked now to call me? It's like, I'm pooping. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look, DL has got the absolute worst timing of any human being. I can I go know. an entire day and never hear from her until <laughs> I'm yeah. indisposed. And yeah. then all of a sudden, that phone is blowing up. She's texting. She's calling. <laughs> and then I pick it up. And I'm thinking, you know, somebody has died or something. And she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Pooping. Yeah. You, want, you want sushi for dinner tonight? <laughs> That's true. That's a true story. I don't care about sushi, but I'd give anything for five minutes of peace. Now go away. Oh. You know what? I have at that point given you at least eight hours of peace, and I'm sorry that you picked the wrong time to go poop. <laughs> that is my husband's thing to to say. It's like I, I I waited as long as I could. All I wanted to do was tell you I love you. It's like, well, you could text me that. <laughs> Please so, just uh, text me that. Love so you, heart. <laughs> So the the rules rules. There was no theme. Was yes, no Ryan. Yes, it did. Do you expect anything else from there? Me? Are no rails. <laughs> That's the whole concept of the show. There are no rails. We can talk about whatever we want. Oh my <laughs> By the way, who's watching? Does anybody watch uh, what we do in the shadows? Speaking Us? of, like, in, <gasps> oh my god, it just started. I'm excited now. Yeah, there's one. I think they're one episode in for the new season. Well, guess what I'm doing tonight? I'm going to stay up late and watch me some Nandor. <laughs> After I make some TikToks, because I have makeup on, so it's it's a thing. It's going to be a thing. Okay, so I'm just going to say, I never think about TikTok until either I'm at work or I have on no makeup. And I'm like, oh. Or she's pooping. Or I'm pooping. But those <laughs> are that's the three because times. that's when you're bored and you want to watch TikToks yeah. and then you're like, well, I should make a TikTok. Is but that what it that is? where you get most of your great ideas is, is when you're in the shower or on the toilet? Sleep. <laughs> Trying to go to sleep, sleep every time. Like, oh, I have this great idea. Oh, that's me. It's like, as soon as I'm like, as soon as I'm starting to fall asleep, I have like the best idea ever. And then I'm trying to remember it on the other side. And I'm like, I remember a version of it. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I found out that I, uh, my husband's like, we'll put a book by your bed and a pen. And I'm like, that's going to, I'd have to turn on a light. I don't want to do all that. I found out that if I just put in my own phone number, whenever I'm texting, I'll text myself the idea and then I leave it unread for the next day. So I have to see it. Oh, that's a good idea because me trying to write something down. First of all, if you've never tried to read my handwriting, it's horrendous. <laughs> it is horrendous. Oh, you know, I have doctors that tell me they can't read my handwriting. That's bad. <laughs> Look, I think what Lauren just said speaks volumes. I thought that women only left men on red, but apparently she leaves herself on it. So Constantly. 
Um, I might not respond to a text for like seven days and you know that's <laughs> true. Oh, see, I can't do that. I, my anxiety is like, they're going to be mad at me. Even if it's like my own, I'll wake up and be like, oh God, who texted? Oh yeah, it was me. Okay. Yeah, I'm sitting here going, what do you want for dinner tonight? And like next Tuesday, I'll get back hamburger. <laughs> Thanks. I, I'm really bad at uh, not deleting my messages off my answering machine, oh, but yeah, every time I do, it's like my mom will call and fill it up. <laughs> Are you supposed to delete them? No, you're not. Oh. You're supposed to keep all of that forever, like my a hoarder. Mom, my mom okay. is the only one who will call. Uh, who who? Well, okay, she's not the only one who calls, but she will. Uh, she will fill up my answering machine to the point where nobody else can leave me messages. And it's like, I'll go through my messages and it's all my mom. Yeah, this is mom. Just wanted to call and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Um, my um, Scarlett, as you know, is my daughter oh. and the, their entire house has the COVIDs right now, except for the babies. Oh. Okay. But the problem, yeah. But the problem is the babies, um, you know, obviously they're at an age that they can't be vaccinated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so we're also in a very unusual loop in that the only people that are left to take care of the babies in the general area would be a um, uh, a household with a uh, high risk person, which would be me, um, and elderly people. So I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, please don't let them get sick. Please we just have to sit back and watch the show. Yeah, I am so sorry. Oh, thank you. They're they, doing very well with it. Yeah, they've done pretty well. Uh, you okay. know, she lost her sense of smell <clears> or, <throat> or oh. part of that. And she's got the really bad cough a residual thing. But she spent the last week telling us that she's waking up with all these aches and, you know, joint pain and all that. And I'm like, uh, I, I do that every day. 50. So, you know, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Welcome to being old. That's what we feel yeah. like every day. So, I hey, I feel yeah. like I had a uh, I feel like I had the COVID before you could get tests. Remember where there was like that month that you yes! could not for the life of you get a test? Mm -hmm. I was sick for 2 weeks. Terribly oh, sick. And I could thing. not because they were like, "Well, you don't have all four of the symptoms." And they wouldn't give me a test. And <laughs> I actually had um I swear that I think I had it um, prior to testing even came out. It was like when it, even before they released everybody to stay at home and be in pandemic mode, yeah. I was incredibly sick for like, it's like two or three weeks and it was very persistent and, oh, it was brutal. And if that wasn't COVID and it's worse than what that was, I feel so sorry for anybody who has to deal with that. Same thing, uh, Joe, uh, Joe and I before uh, before like everything uh, shut down and all that. <laughs> True. We, me and me and my husband, we were sick uh, through Christmas and part mm -hmm. of uh, and most of January, where it's like our energy was so low, we didn't want to do anything, and uh, yeah, we both called in sick a couple times, and and uh, then we started feeling better once you know February started, and then we started going to see friends and family and we went to we went to our doctor and got our blood tests and everything uh just to make sure that we were okay but nothing came back as covid uh mm. but as far as we know anyway but at that point i think it all got out of our system but yeah like prior to everything it's like yeah we feel like we uh, i think we had covid prior to the pandemic shutting everything down yeah, I think, yeah. I think DL and I did too. Uh, both oh, of yeah. us in January, February mm -hmm. of 2020, mm -hmm. uh, back to back got this illness where we both just shut down for like three yeah. days. And then, it was longer than that. Well, for, for her, it was. For me, it was right at about three days. And then I went to bed one night and then woke up about 10 o'clock in the morning and just kind of felt everything lift off of me. Mm -hmm. But it was before we knew that COVID was a thing. And of yeah, course, yeah. there's no test. And, and you know, by the time you get the, they, they came out with the antibodies test, everything had moved on and mm -hmm. you know, yeah. gone, about, gone on its way. So, Yeah, I feel like uh, mine is around January, too. So it seems like all three of us <laughs> kind of around the same and time. I actually frame. knew a lot of people that we, we have a friend oh, of yeah. ours whose daughter was an exchange student in China, of all places who came back right, I think it was October, November of mm -hmm. 2019. Ooh. 
oh. and she was sick when she Hi, came JD. back. Hi, JD! <laughs> I have been wanting to be on a show with JD so bad. So bad! Hi, JD! I'm an official fan girl. Stop staring at him like that. Lord. JD has no idea what he just walked into. <laughs> we're going to talk about pooping. We're going to talk about COVID. And we're going to talk about pooping. coffee. We're talking we're about say pooping. Pooping, yeah. coffee, and COVID. There we go. And don't forget the dirty pillows. Love. <laughs> oh, yeah. And dirty pillows. British there. <laughs> I know. Why wow. did you go British all of a sudden? <clears throat> so, JD, how are things uh, in the Pine Barrens this weekend? Oh, I mean, I'm in. I'm uh... in. Area 51 this weekend. Oh, Vegas. Yeah, we're traveling. Vegas. Does that yes. really exist? I don't know. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been outside of his little cell, unfortunately. Does... I know. We have you trapped in a cage. You got me trapped in a cage? Nobody does. Yeah. Nobody will. Nobody puts JD in the cage. <laughs> Nobody you you haven't met the ice cream queens yet, then. <laughs> we have a know, cage just your size. Nice to meet hello, you. Hello, how are you? It is very nice to meet you. I feel like we have been missing out between the cryptids and, and JD. And I, I, you know, I've talked to Willow quite a bit, but I. What the hell? <laughs> He's dancing. I, like the I know, I it's like a, the little JD dance. Celebratory. Like I, I didn't know this was going to be a musical him. episode. You need to find JD on TikTok. He is a TikTok <gasps> star like you are. Ooh, we should be TikTok Ooh. friends. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think that would be awesome. All right. <laughs> I got a new TikTok friend. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I think you guys are slowly convincing me to download TikTok and actually start <laughs> doing stuff with it. But oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to the rabbit hole. <laughs> Join <laughs> us. TikTok hates me. The, it, TikTok the absolutely TikTok. hates me. Well, hates me. You would love it there. Why why a little would, too what much? Have, what have they been doing <laughs> to you, Deal? I think it has something to do with cursing. <laughs> you're not allowed to curse on there? Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, I just said it could be quite a few words on mine. I, I think it's really, whenever you put up a post, you really have to hashtag it correctly. Like, if I'm going to put up a, a pro-LGBTQ post, I'm going to put all of those hashtags in there so it winds up on the right people's for you pages and I don't end up on the other side of it. So I'll put up like alphabet mafia, LGBTQIA, like you've really got to put the right hashtags on there or it's going to end up on someone who's going to be like, that's offensive and report you. So the one thing that I have seen, on the one thing I've seen consistently from every TikToker that I've come across is how easy it is to get shut down on TikTok. Yep. They hate me. Hate me. Hate me. I, I, think, it's, I think it's that the platform is very misunderstood by the majority of its users. I think that the platform has an intention in what they wanted to do and that the users kind of took it in a different direction from what it was originally intended to be. And I, I don't think they figured out how to deal with that yet. They haven't. And there's this really terrible thing going on right now with like discord chat rooms. A lot of the kids who use Discord for gaming and they have these giant chat rooms have um they're they're pretty much online gangs and they will go oh. through and they will start uh jumping on people's lives like one of them will put a uh, a list of someone's name hey everyone jump on this person's live right now and then they'll all go in there start trash talking them mass reporting them and it gets people completely just blocked for no reason other than they felt like it they're stupid and it's punk. these like yeah, they're 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 okay. punks. They're young kids yeah. doing it, and it's a terrible thing. No one's doing anything about it right now. I know people whose like livelihoods were on TikTok, yeah. and they were completely just demolished and taken off of there. Oh, sorry wow. to get on my they TikTok. Hot stuff no, like I feel very strongly about this. I'm sorry. I suddenly, that. I suddenly yeah, realized. Well, no, go ahead. No, go ahead, Will. I, I, uh, the... I, I suddenly realized the uh, the reason why one of my uh, uh, game uh, gamer uh, people that I follow left uh, left uh, Twitch and went to YouTube now. 
Huh. Well, one of the things that, that I do in my full-time job is I deal a lot with uh, cybercrime issues. And Hello. yes. And one thing that, that I have discovered is that Discord has become as close to the dark web as you can get on mainstream web. It's pretty evil in there. Yeah, yeah, Discord is really starting to become an issue on mainstream web. Uh, if you're if you're a dark web user, you're in a, a totally different kind of uh, category than in your typical hobbyist internet user. But Discord is getting pretty close to it. Yeah. Those kids get crazy. You know, I, I kind of mm -hmm. like I can yeah. I agree with that statement wholeheartedly because how oh, yeah. uh, how often, it, especially when it comes to Facebook, I apologize if this gets us blo uh, blocked. We agree, Facebook. but yeah, it's. Uh, what how, that how often said. how often have you uh, try to uh, block someone or uh, report someone on Facebook or any other social media platform and there, it comes back as we don't see a problem with this <clears throat> seriously well, <laughs> the, do the, we need to highlight this there's a lot you? of exploitation going on on TikTok mm -hmm. as well yeah uh, oh, yes wow. I agree exactly thank Horrible. you JD. And these children really don't have a lot of respect for each other. You know, that's what the internet has done. It's, it's, it's become a place where nobody respects each other. So they'll just go after each other for no reason. Wow. Well, and then you get, you get people that don't respect themselves and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get recognized and noticed. Or they weren't and, respected by their parents. And yeah. The yeah. trickle down effect comes on and there you go. And there you, you know. Yeah. yeah. And like 90%, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Uh, well, uh, from what I've no noticed and read, because uh, I I got attacked on one of my lives by the I remember online that. gang. Um, but what I've noticed and read, like 90% of them are like 11, 12-year-old kids who are on mm -hmm. there unsupervised from their parents. And their par parents probably have no clue what they're doing. Honestly, if I had the money, I would pay like online investigators to go and harass people. <laughs> pretty much yes well think um, about in terms of how we interact with each other now we are at a point where we prefer to interact um either through instant messaging through texting and people oh, have a my. tendency to be a little bit ruder when it comes to dealing with somebody i get that at work um in not just the job that I'm in now, but the previous one, if I walk up to them face to face, I have actually closed out of my email, turned around and walked up to somebody face to face. And I'm like, hey, I think we need to talk. Their tone totally changes. The way that they address me totally changes because there's no longer that filter in place that leaves that almost an 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 anonymity, anonymity, an an anonymity, an anonymity, an anonymity, an anonymity. It's an anomaly. It's, an it's a C and M and E. It's a pajamas on. Who's pajamas on? <laughs> but hey, I, I think, think Eli's got an opinion on the matter. Look, people suck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep. Failed it. We agree with you. We totally. <laughs> Not I all people <laughs> suck. Okay. Not all people. I mean, suck. there's more most of them do. Them. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here sucks, and that's including at least one non-person. Levar so. Burton. Who? Oh, uh, I love Lavar Burton. Oh my gosh! Hey, have y'all have y'all been following? Speaking of Lavar Burton, have y'all been following all of the stuff going on with Jeopardy? Trying to find a new host. Oh no. yeah! Wow, you talk about uh, cancel culture coming to bear. They mm -hmm. have now had two hosts that have been appointed and shut down almost immediately uh, because somebody didn't like something in their past. Oh wow! I mean, it's like you know your your old host dies, and you try to bring in somebody new, and you just can't seem to get it right. Personally, I don't understand why they're not just putting the bar out there. It all up. That producer dude. Yeah, yeah, he it's one of the producers. See, they that just need to get dude, someone that, he like was a long time. He was a long time producer. That guy that was just got the host taken away from him. Yeah. Yeah. He was a long time mm -hmm. producer and just decided he was going to take the driver's seat, just like that. Oh yeah, I got it. I'll do it. Yeah, see that I, I in circumstances like that where it's already someone who's beloved by everyone, uh, <laughs> you have to put somebody else that everyone just kind of loves in that spot. Like Dolly Parton. There you go. There's your next yeah, host. Everybody yeah. loves Dolly. 
Gilbert <laughs> Gottfried. Well, <laughs> oh. yeah, oh, right now. Considering he got fired from being the Actually, voice. Yeah, he got fired from being the Affleck. Affleck and, but then they brought him back because no one was able to. <laughs> hey, look, Jean Luc Picard would never let any of his crew in jeopardy. Huh. <laughs> no, he would not. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you pay for, people. <laughs> In this three, speaking of pay, <laughs> I like money. Speaking yeah, of pay, the, speaking of pay, I like here. money. <laughs> if you like the show, was... if you appreciate <laughs> this little train wreck, uh, <laughs> this is can, a great uh, train wreck. <laughs> contribute at buy me a coffee and look for the cereal box. Stuff up there, down there, down there. It's, it's it? down buy there, me down a there. coffee. Buy me a coffee and tell them how much you love after dark because you know. Do you have polka dots? Yeah, polka I did my makeup for the show. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, we know it close to this. It. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that pretty makeup. That's gorgeous. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so in your nose, your nose is like orange. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, now it goes out of focus. Yeah, she's going to go out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. my mascara today. Oh, that's oh, gorgeous. Oh, oh, it's oh, lovely, go. Jamie. Gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Did you spend a lot of time on that, did you? I feel beautiful. Thank you. you I'm going to put some fake beautiful. eyelashes on you next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Makeover. how you feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's how you feel. We will glue your eyes shut. <laughs> So, uh, you know, one of the big news stories this past week was what? the passing of uh, Ed Asner. Yep. Uh, oh. Has Don't anybody started Asner. watching Doug Days on Disney Plus? I have. I have. It's glorious. I love it. We started watching it. It is hilarious. I mean, it is every bit as funny as uh, as Up was when it was not depressingly sad. But uh, the new show is really funny. It's really good. Ed Asner, of course, you know, was there, you know, doing the voice. And uh, the whole show is about Doug's adventures in his new backyard. Okay. Aww. So if you Aww. have have not watched it, go watch that show. It, it is really good. It's worth the time. I like the bulldog. The bulldog is the best. We've, we've, only, we've seen only watched two episodes. two episodes, so we haven't seen the the bulldog. No. Oh. Smile, nod. Smile, nod. Spoiler alert. Okay. <laughs> Anytime we open our mouths is a spoiler alert. Yeah, this show is it like, just, there's automatically a stamp of spoiler alert on this show. Oh, 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 I've got a fun round question. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you were going to give out a spoiler alert that was the most obvious spoiler alert that everyone's probably already heard, what would it be? Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Snape kills Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Fine, it would Nate's be. not a bad guy. <laughs> what um, was your B, JD? Mine would be the little aliens, they like people. Mm -hmm. To eat or just in general? <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah. Close encounters. <laughs> Soylent green is people. Kind. The little ones were <laughs> gonna not eat the people. Never it's a mind. cookbook. <laughs> he was really dead the whole time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was all a dream. I once Carl, saw this. I, I once. I, can't I saw the one scene where Doug asked Carl if he was just a dog to him and sobbed. So no, I haven't watched the episode. So she already got shut down in tears by just a, a trailer for it. Oh, there, there was the the puppies episode where he gave them the toy. I just, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Doug makes me want to ugly cry all the time. Picard is the best. I agree. I yeah, yeah Picard is the best. Guy. But I'm actually a Shatner fan. Okay, oh. so when I was pregnant oh. and I was severely showing a friend of ours, uh, they were having a wedding. It was a costume wedding. And so I dressed up as um, a female, just random Trekkie. I had the ears and all of that with the big pregnant belly. And my husband dressed up as uh, William Shatner. And he had the sign, or I had a sign carried around <laughs> that said uh, Shatner was here or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or, Rescue uh, 911. Uh, <laughs> see, I got good Shatner stories because I got a great one. 
Oh, go for it. Let DL tell her Shatner story. So I may have flashed William Shatner at a con. <gasps> I, um, as you know, reenactment. <laughs> I don't have buttons. Um, so I went to a con and I was wearing the green hornet and uh, my daughter was dressed as Cato and I got the opportunity to go do the meet and greet with William Shatner. And the green hornet is basically a green suit that's held together by a sing. Kirk, Kirk was here. Was here. <laughs> that's what the sign said. Thank you. Um, it was held together by a single pretty much, or actually two buttons, but the whole top piece was held together by a single button. As I walked up to the booth, I kid you not, the top button goes pop and goes flying across and it may or may not have hit William Shatner. And his response was, charm to meet you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like wow. oh, sorry about that. I have flashed so many people at cons, it isn't even funny. If you've ever been in a- trap. It was yeah. a booby trap. <laughs> Um, I did this. People. I did something similar with uh, Norman Reedus, and I think the story got back to Geek Gumshoe. Yeah, totally oh shooting the chat. God. I, I think I that became a born again Christian with my fly open once. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the stage becoming a born again Christian, and my fly was open the entire time. Oh. 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 I have sinned. JD, you're not wearing pants. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. How awkward it was then, though. It oh, was okay. It was wilder then. It happened in another life. I thought maybe it was one of those false <laughs> memory things. Is it just me, or are girls allowed to have word word malfunctions? Whereas it's really just kind of creepy when guys do, like shorts, like certain bulbous things popping out of shorts. <laughs> if I see your ding dong hanging down through shorts, <laughs> I'm gonna have issues. <laughs> I, I had a wardrobe malfunction during a photo shoot one time, and door. yeah, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, so I, on my birthday, or around my birthday, I like to host uh, costume photo shoots. Uh, and um, yeah, good way to meet people, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, so I hosted um, a Sin City photo shoot one year. Ooh. And... Uh, and fun. of course, I am wearing the most low cut bodysuit I could uh, find. I and of course, uh, one of the photographers uh, gets the idea to do like a fighting scene, and I'm like, okay, let's yeah, let's do this. Oh, pops the boobs, right? And I turn around, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> so for a yeah. split second, you're trying to you're trying to figure out why all the flash bulbs are going off around you. Okay. So, uh, Yep, there's you there's can't fight with right boobs. Somewhere. I'm sorry, they get in I the way. Can you fight with boobs? Me? <laughs> Can you fight with boobs? No, I used to take one out and smack somebody with it. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> 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 like fighting with a T-Rex. Trying to reach around. <laughs> Unless you like have little pasties that have blades on them. No, I can't really think of like She's armed and boobs. dangerous. Watch out. You know what? I should have done that and made pasties like have swords. No, all I'm thinking is Britney Spears where she, from Austin Powers with the double barrel. <laughs> yeah, bang, 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 bang. Whoa, oh, whoa, yeah. hey, whoa, whoa. I'm just I'm just picturing whoa, whoa. like a uh uh, the femme fatale from like a 1970s James Bond movie now with you know, the deadly daggers. <laughs> Didn't the fembots have them in their uh fembots. Thank you. I Thank was trying to think of what it was. Fembots. Same. I, same. You know, if I ever I'm a had plethora to get of useless information. If I ever had to get prosthetics, I want guns in my boobs. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, I would make she mine in, like leak. secret wine bags where I could just have like a little <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's in the center. That's the third boob. Jeez. <laughs> the third boob. I'm surrounded <laughs> by jeans. <laughs> oh, it's a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to rename the show. Yeah, Wait a minute. Uh, there was Bras an episode. With wine holder. There was a series of uh, from American Horror Story Freak Show, and um, one of the characters was a three boobed woman. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. gun, wine, gun. There you go. Makes wow. sense to me. You know, so, I, wait, I, so wait a minute. We have to think about the technical difficulties. Okay, so which one would be the wine boob 
and which okay. ones would be the center because you don't want to mix those up no, okay wait 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 confused well also Blow it depends on off. what you because you don't <laughs> want you don't want you don't want wine to be too warm so you really don't want the bump the guns on either side but then again how often would you really use boob guns it's quite true yes yes i'm thinking the center boob. how deep can i get you to go into this okay now <laughs> how much ammo does he then well, unless of course you Wait a minute. make uh, you you make the center boob the bazooka. Oh, bazooka. I want a bazooka boob <laughs> and two wine. Uh, okay, uh, wait, wine, bazooka, and whiskey. How about that? I mean, I'm, just, I'm just picturing some guy coming up going, "Nice bazookas, lady." <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or you just fill three of them with great yeah. alcohol, and one of them is a squirt gun, and just shoot for the eyes. And yeah. like, Jane's putting a lot of thought into this. This is a hey, <laughs> I'm already writing down plans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. He, he's got the, the schematics out there right now. I just need some test subjects. Hey, right. Like I, oh, I saw the uh the, the we thing all that volunteer. They were, we're good. Somebody came out with a bra that <laughs> had like uh uh, little flask in it for putting wine in. Oh, had the little and, and I have been handed way too many, uh, way too much boob money in my life to think that having wine next to your boobs you would stripper? be a good were idea. I mean, <laughs> I was no, 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 where's would the boob never. money coming from? Now, you Why can work you getting... anywhere in anywhere you work in retail or anywhere where you're exchanging True. money in any form. At some point, somebody's going to put boob some money. Some woman in your is going to. That's uh, yeah, see, from strangers, money. no, strangers, that's yeah. a no. Familiar friend I may like the cleavage of, I drink wine out of that. <laughs> yeah, I would too, but I mean, I'm just going to tell you, I have never received boob money that came from somebody that I was vaguely even attracted to. It's nope. like, you're going to hand me boob money and it's going to be sweaty and I'm just going to be like, can you put it on the counter? We need to let Hi. that shit dry. How many of you go to uh, sci-fi conventions at hotels <laughs> or any convention really? At, uh, uh, that that's where the lipstick goes. <laughs> how, how often is there a guy walking around going, drink this and you don't know what's in it. So you take a swig. <laughs> I do not do that anymore. I do not do that anymore. Yeah, we got a story about that. Oh, oh. Yeah. Surprise. I have a story. That's how TikToks are started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, um, I went to, uh, we went to a stoner festival as a pirate band. That's a story oh. in itself. And what were you um, call the Args? Yes. No, I wish. No, we were called the Bluff City Barnacles. And it was, it was a very fun experience. <laughs> I and I started off by bringing my bottle of Fireball because I like Fireball and I have my own little bottle. So I was thinking, you know what? This would be safe. I'm going to bring my Fireball. So we had a roadie. My thing. Not Joey the roadie. We should have had Joey the roadie. We had cousin Bobby the roadie who evidently went and got my Fireball or my Fireball refilled and in the process ended up with us being we don't know dosed. if it was tincture. We were dosed with something. We have no idea. Oh, All no. I know is I ended up butt naked in the, my car um, our singer was passed out in somebody's tent, butt naked, and uh, Bobby, the Bobby cousin, Bobby, yeah, Bobby, the cousin, yeah, Bobby, the cousin, Bobby, and the singer basically lost time for like eight, eight to nine hours. It's like That's I didn't me, get I'm as much. Yeah, now, let, me, let, me, let me let me put this in well, perspective, okay? Our band went on at like four o'clock in the afternoon, okay. Uh, the incident with the bottle of fireball happened right before we went on stage. Bobby was like, I'm going to go over to the oh. band area and I'm going to refill this thing because we're almost mm -hmm. out. So he goes over to where everybody's got their common stash together and yeah. pours off some fireball off of the stash. So he, he brings was supposed it to wait. He was supposed to get it from the bar. Wow. Though. He was right. supposed to so, go to the bar. So we get up on stage. We we're do our show. Cousin By Bobby. the time the show is almost over, our singer is getting to the point where you can't understand anything that's coming out of her mouth. And oh, wow. we come down oh, off the oh, stage. DL starts kind of getting a little, you know, woozy and what have you. So I'm like, let's go get you some food. So we try to get her food. Uh, our singer okay. disappears. And a little while later, somebody comes up to us and says, hey, y'all singer is over in the camping area. Wait. Passed out in the dirt. Not before so, she jumped on the back of the motorcycle. No, that's a whole oh other story. Okay. Yeah. So we went over and got oh, her and brought her here. back, put her in the tent. Bobby got into his tent, and this was about maybe 5.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> they did not regain consciousness until about 10 o'clock next morning. 
Uh, fortunately, DL did not drink as much out of that bottle as they did, but it took several hours for us to get you know her back <laughs> in line. Yeah. Uh, and, you know the singer. It was a pretty spooky experience. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, uh, that's it, like that, Jägermeister and Goldschlager together do that. Kind of. like, no, I've done Jägermeister and Goldschlager together. This was nothing like that. I would love to say that was like that. I may have grabbed somebody's thousand dollar top hat and ran, or was it their top hat that I ran around yeah. with it? Okay. Somebody had like yeah, a custom had a made handmade top hat. So yeah, I mean, it was, it, that was probably the worst experience. And I have learned that you don't ever drink. Uh, no, first of all, I don't generally ever drink something that I don't, that doesn't come to me that from someone I don't know, but you know, you would think that cousin Bobby, what, I mean, cousin Bobby should have been reputable, right? You yeah. Know. People in clubs, you know, they oh, yell wow. those people just for the fun of it, you know. Yeah, that's well, kind of what we think re we, what happened is that somebody was like, oh, this will be hilarious and went over and found the the uh, fireball bottle and just poured something into it and then walked and away. And didn't realize that it was going to go that crazy. Or yeah. maybe they did. And yeah, it went oh, completely yeah. south for us. But uh, yeah, that wow. made for a very long night. No but photographs. This is Thank God, no. Um, this is actually oh, one of the events okay. that you ever, if you ever have been to this type of event before, you will walk around and people will offer you brownies and people will offer you, I mean, freebies. Everything you can imagine is a freebie there. And like so, event. I, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a super fun event. Uh, and it, it takes place down in Mississippi. <laughs> okay. And these people have this giant farm. And every year they do this twice a year and wow. it's all about, you know, that, that kind of culture. And, and, you know, it's not really my yeah. scene, but we went there to provide yeah. music for it. But Still everywhere you went, I mean, I would have to like move because I'd be standing over the fire trying to warm up and a couple of guys yeah. come up and start lighting up right next to me. And I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be inhaling right. that because uh, I'll get, definitely get tested at work next week. Oh, Gumshoe, hold on one second. Yeah. Lauren just yawned during our show. Mm. Sorry. Are we boring you? <laughs> um or is it just past your bedtime? We're no, here. I'm here. I'm just uh half zoning okay. out on the subject on purpose. Sorry. Just to make sure oh, oh okay. You're okay. My We're bad. have to turn that autofocus off <laughs> on your camera. <laughs> but she's in the, she's falling asleep. Look. <laughs> Even her camera is falling asleep. Whoa. So, JD, uh, you said something earlier in one of our, our chats about wanting to talk about a Bigfoot video. Yes, Ooh. there's this new Bigfoot video that's out. And it looks like a real Bigfoot. You know, this is it the one question. where the guy finds the shelter out in the woods? No, no, no. It's a new one. I don't know. No, how to, I don't have uh, it wrapped up right now. Yeah, Maybe Johnny we'll sent it to us in our uh, Facebook chat. Look for the what, Facebook was it, chat. Was it Facebook? Okay. I'm sorry I don't have it racked up. I should have had it. Uh, Speaking of racks, <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have it racked yeah, up. Because we've spoken a lot about that tonight. Boob guns. Right. This is the boob show. Yeah, I came, across, I came across another one today that was really interesting, and I'm thinking it might be a uh, an episode very soon, but this guy <laughs> is out in the woods, and he finds this shelter, a very crude kind of, you know, just a bunch of sticks thrown over each other's shelter so he puts a game camera out and uh, the game camera captures some pretty interesting stuff oh okay oh. interesting yeah wow um, so i will share what i got uh yeah, let's see. take a look at this mysterious video racked up here Chair button would work. Hmm. This is like the uh, the golf game. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I apologize. My well. internet's a little slow tonight. I so. I okay. think I actually have a hush y'all somewhere. Hush uh, <laughs> hey, hush Lauren, do you know what the hush y'all is? No, sorry. I, um, I worked in the uh, um, catering in events for many many years prior to working at some of the local universities. And one of the events that we did was um, the St. Jude, uh, the St. Jude class. Yeah. The golf tournament and the signs that they have for everybody to be quiet. It says, hush y'all. <laughs> You're so funny. I love that. Very Southern. I need that on my car as a horn. <laughs> <laughs> you peep the horn. It goes, hush y'all. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking I need one that says, shut up. 
<laughs> I need that like a little little uh, little thing to walk around with, like a little little uh, sound effect thing. Walk into people's crowds and just go. Hush up. <laughs> just walk in the middle of a conversation and do that. Right, right. <laughs> and there's a sign. <laughs> Well, yeah. I, I, it's not allowing me to share the screen, but uh, oh, if I, there's a disappointment. <laughs> uh, sorry, I I apologize if I end up having to please send off the video. This, <laughs> I apologize, my internet's kind of other. weird, so I I'm gonna have to restart this. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna probably be taken out. So okay, so while while she's gone, come she was gonna talk about his fireball experience a little bit more. So tell us. <laughs> you like that story, <laughs> do you? Well, the thing about oh, it was, it, it wasn't really my experience. It was, it was hers. Uh, uh, I was just the one that had to bear witness to the entire horror show uh, from beginning so, to end. So my Memphis, you, you, you were in a band. You're in a band. Or I'm in a band. In a band. I, I've what been band in a couple of bands. Um, oh, wow, amazing. I know, isn't that awesome? Yeah. yeah. Did you like? I'm in the Murder Chris. Yeah, that was nice. She is awesome. in this band right now. Oh wow! And Look at that. By the way, if you have not picked up the CD from the Murdering Crows, you can bid it on <laughs> iTunes or wherever you buy your digital music from. I just listened to some like of those a, uh... today. Do I? Oh, I was saying I actually just listened to some of. Uh, that album today i was putting together a list that's uh let's see here chill goth and i was so i was getting stuff from uh the lost boys and music kind of like that and i was like oh i'm gonna throw some murdering crows on here and so, so we're I right through through with cry little out. sister is what you're saying that's kind of cool. yeah so it, it has that kind of like vibe to it so i picked out a couple of songs from your album threw it on that playlist too oh cool Very thank cool. you thank you yeah big thanks Thank to you. everybody that that sends us little messages here and there and tells us that they actually listen to that album over and over again. I had a conversation with somebody today telling me I how much not. they love that record and, and Hey, they keep okay. listening to it. So it's very cool. I to hear have that virgin you. ear to this. So now I will hunt it down. Go find it. Also yeah. find our YouTube channel. Cause uh, we've it got their videos. These little purple things right here. <laughs> So uh, if everybody uh, notices, it is seven minutes past the hour. So we have officially gone over <laughs> and believe it or not, uh, we drove this train wreck straight through <laughs> for an hour and uh, now it's kind of quitting time. So we are at that already point. Oh. already <laughs> Bigfoot will be for next time. Yeah, we will. We will talk oh, about Bigfoot. For sure. for We're sure. going to find him by Whoa. next time. Definitely so have to have teaser. you guys yeah. are on Spotify, so make sure. Oh, yeah, very cool. You follow, yeah. We, we, we hear that we're here and there, but we haven't confirmed a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, TikTok. We, are, we are on YouTube Music, we're on TikTok, we're on iTunes. I think we're on Google Play, but I haven't had anybody confirm it to me yet. Uh, so I mean, it's out there pretty much wherever you buy your, your digital tunes. But uh, get out there and get it, go get it, go buy it. And then, JD, tell us about your comic book, man. Oh, it's called Cryptid Adventures. I think we've yeah, got a that somewhere. Let me see if I can find that. Apparently. Put my old man glasses on here. It. We should Come have on, it. Yeah, that's, oh, that, that's not it. That's Willow. That's Willow. <laughs> hey, there's Willows. Uh, where is... I swear there it that... is. There it is. Here it is. Yeah, Cryptid Adventures comic. At MightyCryptids.com. That's, That's me so on cool. the cover. Don't I look buff? I look you like do. Yeah. I like the cigar. I, you I mean, you look like good. a cooler version of Tank Girl. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tank Girl. I, I do. That, I that is a compliment, compliment if there has ever been a compliment. I yeah. agree. Absolutely. You can uh, find me on TikTok and all that fun place, too. So, so what what's the comic Lauren? book about? Go ahead, JD. Tell us what the comic book's about. Oh, it's about five dudes. It's about Bigfoot, Nessie, JD, me, Sasquatch, you know, and uh, Chupacabra. They're all a Your superhero homie. team. Yes, all my homies are in the team. And we save the world from reptilians and bad cryptids. And we try to make bad cryptids good. 
That's it. We'll look for it at MightyCryptids.com. Thank you for having me. I'll be looking for that. Thank you for being here, JD. Lauren, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on TikTok. Just check out Geeky Gothic Gamer Girl. That's right. Four G's there. Geeky Gothic Gamer Girl. I also have an Instagram, a YouTube, all of the other stuff, but TikTok's my main thing. So there you go. Willow? Uh, well, you can find me at Willow Skyler on pretty much any uh, place on uh, social media. I am the social media socialite. There you go. Uh, ah! So, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm on uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. So, yeah, you can find me pretty much everywhere. Um, uh, I'm the, <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm the program director for the Hanging With Web Show <laughs> program <laughs> network. So, uh, I do cool. host my uh, my own show once in a while called Willow's Pillow Talk. I also am the co-host of Reels and Heels on Saturday afternoons. Am I the only one that wanted that to be yeah. dirty pillows? <laughs> I'm She's sorry. Is that bad? Thank you. Cryptid Crunch. I know. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Can't yeah, forget about that show. DL, what you um, got? I got nothing. I'm just kidding. No, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. If you look close enough, I'm somewhere in there. I don't, yeah, they don't like me, so you probably won't find me. But, but generally, you can find me on Sunday nights, second and fourth Sunday at Right here, Ice Cream Queens, where we will talk about horror, goth, and all of the creepy things that make Sun our dark little hearts time. happy. Same bat time, same bat channel. Also, look for uh, DL's got a YouTube channel that that is I do highly underrated. <laughs> She's got some really cool stuff on there. Uh, go look for that. And uh, Willow, a lot of the Elvira stuff that you were showing earlier, DL has done like reviews of the makeup palette and stuff on oh, there. If fantastic! You found it. Go find it. Uh, I may or may not have tasted bread. it. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't gone that far, but yes, the makeup that I'm wearing is from the makeup palette. So, oh, how awesome! Sweet. <laughs> so, as far as me, like you can find me whiskey. on the Instagram. I have a new YouTube channel uh, where I'm posting the case files of the Geek Gumshoe episodes several weeks after they originally played, but I'm putting them on there so that they can be separate from everything else, easier to find. Also, there'll be some additional content there. Please go subscribe because I have five subscribers. So it's I need, so I need sad. followers. Six tonight, baby. <laughs> got uh, six now. <laughs> uh, the uh, case files of the Geek Gumshoe usually plays on Monday mornings if I've got an episode ready to go. We don't have one this week, but we're working on some stuff right now. And uh, Ooh, You suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can say that. So beyond that, uh, I think this is bringing this show to an end. So we're going to shut this mess down. If you enjoyed this show, this is the uh, After Dark, uh, Serial Boxers After Dark. This will play on the, generally it's going to be on the fifth Sunday. The weekends that either DL show or Willow's show are not on, we'll be trying to do something like this. So if you enjoyed it, Please tell everybody that this is the uh, Serial Boxers After Dark. If you didn't like it, th this is uh, uh, Back of the Serial Box. So uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> if you didn't like it, it keep, your, keep your opinion to yourself. Keep your opinions to yourself because you're stupid. No, <laughs> everybody, thanks for joining us tonight. Get them it's been a hoot. And we will see you next time. Yay! Have a pleasant dream! Bye!